And we're excited to have Jesse Paul. Uh, Jesse is the chef at Vivace. And That's correct. You just started your new uh, brunch called Pranzo. Yes. And I was there, and you were at the station where they had the fresh mozzarella. And, yeah. Yeah. And what are you going to do for us? So I'm going to demo some fresh mozzarella. Um, so I'm going to get this started while I explain the process. And what are you putting in there right so now? This is curd. Um, pretty much what we do is we bring, we take organic milk and we bring it up to 190 degrees and we add rennet, which is, you can get vegan rennet or animal rennet. And animal rennet is a digestive enzyme in the stomach of either the cow or the pig. And what it does is it separates the curds in the whey and it coagulates the curd. So you let it sit overnight and kind of culture like yogurt. So uh -huh. it gets some enzyme breakdown. And then we strain off the liquid, which is the, the whey, and we're left with curd, which is what this is, okay. which is the basis for mozzarella. So then what we do is we add it into 165 degrees salted water, and you can see how it's starting to, oh, yeah. to melt down. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, that's really cool. And the trick is you don't really want to overwork it. You want to melt it down, let it get the flavors inside, and then, so once that forms, I'm just going to do two little uh, presentations on something that you would find at Bavache, either for pranzo or for our, our dinner service. So we have our curd. And we're going to just kind of start balling it up. And the greatest thing about fresh mozzarella is eating it hot. The, uh, the colder it gets, the, the more it firms up in it. So can a home cook make this oh yeah all you need is milk and you can buy rennet um, actually at at the local store Jimbo's you can buy um, vegan rennet made out of uh, vegetable byproducts and you just add it into your milk heat it up let it sit on your counter overnight outside from the fridge strain it off and put it in hot water and stretch it out and you're done it's pretty simple so it looks, looks wonderful for this one um, we just did some uh, Grilled baby artichokes, candied hazelnuts, uh, salsa verde, and pea tendrils. And for this one, kind of a play on a caprese, we have some uh, grilled focaccia bread. We're going to put some uh, tomato jam with it. Um, this one is something we would serve at night, a little uh, balsamic caviar. Oh. Some fresh basil. And our infused oil from the restaurant. And always what was the infused in the oil? Uh, we add thyme, rosemary, orange, peppercorns, and a little bit of Parmesan rind. Kind of gives okay. a little little <laughs> funk on the back of your palate. Okay. Yeah, fresh mozzarella. Wow. I mean, the presentation is beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Chef. Pleasure. We thank appreciate you. it. Let's eat. Please.